What is happening everybody? Matt from snakeherder.com here doing a uh, first video in quite a long time here. I apologize for that but I'm a very busy person like uh, the rest of us are I'm sure and I've been working a lot lately and trying to find the time for this video and I'm just now finding the time. What we are looking at today this is uh, something I am really excited about even though it's nothing huge by all you know by most people's accounts these are my first caramel albinos and I also threw one of the possible heads in there just for a color comparison but uh, this is a hard-earned victory for me some of you who've been following me for a long time might know that uh, back in 2008 I bought a pair of baby 100% head caramels from Garrick de Meyer um, first clutch was uh, third winter so that was what uh, 2010 I hatched my first caramels or my first clutch from this pair six eggs no caramels following year five eggs no caramels uh, the year after that I gave them a year off and I had all kinds of people telling me those aren't hats if they were hats you'd have got one by now out of 11 eggs but uh, I was kept my faith in Garrick because he's a good guy and I know he wouldn't rip me off and sometimes statistics just don't work out the way you want them to um, again that's that people think that with four eggs you're gonna get one caramel kind of thing when you're going head to head it's not that way it's every baby has a one in four chance so that being said this year I got six eggs from them and uh, I'm very happy to say I finally hit on the odds and out of six eggs I got two caramels now uh, let's take a good look at this is the uh, this is kind of the nicest uh, in my opinion got a really nice bleached out head uh, these guys just shed out so I'm gonna start feeding this weekend give them some hopper mice and see how we do um, I don't normally sex my babies until they're eating it's just a little thing I do I just find the less they're stressed the quicker they start eating and once they're eating that's the road to uh, you know successful snake keeping and being able to sell them and everything else but this little guy here is uh got a really cool bleached out looking head again you guys know my camera is not the best in the world for this but he is uh just something you know and maybe a she i don't know but uh those of you who are familiar with the snake keeper line of caramel albinos know about the tendency for spinal kinking uh, this guy here there is nothing visibly wrong with him except for at the very, very, very tip of the tail. And I'm not sure if this will get picked up on here. It has just the tiniest little bit of a, the, the very tip of the tail. And you know, I don't even know if you would consider it a kink. Um, I mean, it, it's probably the last 30 second of an inch. There's just kind of a tiny little bit of a tendency for him to curl it. And I don't know if that would be considered a kink. If it's a kink, it is the last vertebrae. I mean, you can probably see it better right there with the black background. And that's about as bad as it is with this guy. This guy is gorgeous. And uh, the other one, however, at a glance, looks perfectly all right. But about two-thirds of the way down, there is a little bit of a kink here. And you can feel it more than you can see it when you run your hand down. Uh, I can't even find it right now. I mean, that's. I said if I if I get them to straighten out and you get a side profile, you can see right here, right at this mark, there's a tiny little bit of a bump. And so this one, I am considering a pet quality animal. This is for somebody who wants to uh, have a beautiful looking animal, but not uh, not necessarily. You know, I would discourage somebody from trying to breed this one. Just and any caramels can produce kinks. Um, especially with this particular lineage keep that little guy from getting away but uh, you know I, I wouldn't have any qualms about breeding the one with the tiny little nub on the tail like that um, but the other one I suggest you know is going to be less than half price this one is going to be really cheap I'm probably going to sell this one for you know less than a hundred bucks to somebody who wants a really pretty pet and the cool thing about caramels is they're one of the few morphs out there that get better looking with age they they this dark area starts to get purple and they really color up as they get older so um these are going to be really cool animals for somebody um, i think i'm going to sell them all i really was thinking about keeping the nicer one here that's on the move just because of how long it took me to produce my first caramels 
and uh, it was kind of a hard-earned victory in my book. And just here for color comparison, I need this little guy to stick around, but uh, you can see the color difference in, you know, the possible hats. And I got four possible hats here, and they're all really nice. I mean, that one's got a really cool pattern. So if somebody's looking for, uh, you know, really cheap, essentially I'll sell them for about the price of normals, these possible hats, and I'm sure I can pair some up for you. But, and also the parents of these babies are still available for sale. Um, I'm selling a lot of my breeder ball pythons in uh, the hopes of buying some more green tree pythons. So I uh, finally proved these guys out after, after three clutches, four years, and a whole lot of possible hats. So these are some really pretty little caramels. So email me, snakeherder at gmail.com if you're interested in any of these. And uh, I'd be more than happy to set you up with a nice caramel project. So thanks as always for watching. These are the first clutch of the year to hatch. I've got another really cool clutch that just hatched too, but they uh, haven't shed yet. So I'm not going to show them off until that happens. Thanks as always. And uh, keep checking out snakeherder.com for available animals. And uh, email me, snakeherder at gmail.com, if you have questions or interest in any of these animals. Thanks for checking them out.